Small Business Expo this week. And joining me with more details are Guam Chamber of Commerce President Dave Letty and Occam Solutions Business Development Manager Thelma Hechenova. The hap half a day to both of you. I almost said happy holidays. I don't know why. It's a true Yeah, well, ha half, a day, half a day no matter what day of the year it is and everything. So obviously, I've got my dates all messed up and everything like that. But the date you guys are looking at is the date of the Small Business Expo. So tell me about that. Oh, well, you know, Jason, this is our eighth annual Small Business Expo, and uh, we're real excited about it. We have just a whole host of businesses that are going to be exhibiting at the expo, and uh, we have two uh, uh, seminars that are going to take place at the expo, one on the 504 loan program, SBA loan program, and the other seminar is on, uh, uh, the topic is investing in our island, mm -hmm. and we have a host of uh, uh, large private sector employers that will present at that seminar. So uh, just a bunch of things happening and uh, we're real excited with uh, the participation so far. Okay, now Thelma, who would be the target audience for this type of event? Because I know, you know, if we're dealing with investment in the island and everything, that would imply maybe people more on the financial side, but that's not necessarily the case. No, not necessarily. Actually, uh, this is of course our annual Small Business Expo. And uh, we want to draw in uh, a lot of small businesses uh, who are just starting up or in there right now. Our, um, our panelists are actually from the various sectors of the island. Um, and, you know, we have uh, people like uh, Black Construction, uh, DZSP21, Mobile Oil, Bank of Guam, United, uh, Triple J, uh, all, you know, all participating. And we want to learn from them what makes them successful, because they hire a lot of our local folks. And also, uh, for new businesses, it's really trying to keep, uh, to keep here on the island and being successful at what they do. So these people have a lot to give, give small businesses. But the expo and the mixer themselves are open to everybody. They're free. Uh, so we'd love to be able to have people come down and uh, just partake join in and see what the businesses that are exhibiting have to offer and then also enjoy. Um, we have besides wine and cheese like we've always done, we're including beer this time. Uh, we Which have, is always uh, good on Guam. Always good, of course. Uh, Guam uh, Contractors Association and uh, Guam uh, Hotel and Restaurant Association are also mm -hmm. joining with us. Okay, now Dave, i got a question for you because as the as the man with the plan behind the Guam Chamber of Commerce, you know, um, Guam is in such a delicate situation right now because, you know, everybody's thinking, you know, will the military buildup happen as planned or is it going to be somewhat shifted? And of course, you know, in business, um, we each have our own respective competitors in the industries in which we exist. But um, there's also a great deal of cooperation that we all have to engage in to make sure that, that the central economy of Guam continues to flourish and everything. So how will the expo be a networking opportunity for, you know, businessmen and you know whether they're managers or executives or directors or even you know even the lay people giving them the chance to like talk to other people well jason you know the the, the chamber of commerce is exactly that it's it's a it's a it's a uh, an entity that unites businesses professionals and firms uh so that collectively we can do a bunch of things that single-handedly we couldn't do by ourselves and so the small business expo is a testament to that uh, we find that it's, it's, it's a challenge for small businesses to, uh, to expand their client base effectively. So the Expo gives us an opportunity to do that. It gives a, an opportunity for small businesses, uh, our small business members, to uh, uh, come together and be able to engage in, uh, to address and engage with a large audience in a very short period of time. And so, and, and face-to-face opportunities to uh, uh, to ex expand their clientele, uh, to meet new prospects. So, and that's a great marketing tool. And that's what we see the Expo as, is as a marketing tool for our small businesses to pitch their products and services, to expand their brand, uh, their brand recognition, and uh, to promote their business. All right, excellent. So uh, Thelma, speaking of business, you know, our last question before we go to commercial mm -hmm. break, um, which business has the dubious distinction of having the honor of hosting the Expo this year? And where can people get tickets? Um, actually, uh, the tickets are only for the panel discussions. All right. uh, it's uh, $20 for non-members, $10 for members. And uh, it, I'm sorry, it's going to be at the Marriott. So sorry about that. Excellent. The Marriott uh, Ballroom, uh, the first uh, event starts at 1 o'clock, which is a, 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 a loan program. Uh, 
you know, uh, advisement on loan programs. And then the second one is the panelist discussion from two to four. And then we've got the, uh, the expo and then right into the mixer. So everything ends around 7.30. All right. Well, thank you very much for both. I mean, you can thank check you your website so for more information, certainly. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank right. you. Sajus Masi.